Alright, it is December 1st and we are going downtown tonight and we are going to look at the Christmas tree that is being lit tonight and I think like two Christmas trees and then we're going to eat downtown. Here's the other tree at the Capitol. Pretty. at the diner. Super cool. So Sam got us donuts this morning and let's take a guess whose donuts are whose. <laughs> who got the chocolate sprinkle and who got the glaze. I got the glaze and little Mr. Sam got the sprinkles. <laughs> All right, we're having a girls' day today. We're at the Cheesecake Factory. She got a plate of lettuce. <laughs> I got some fettuccine alfredo. And we're just having a little girls' day. <laughs> All right, we had a successful shopping trip. Uh, we didn't really buy anything, but we did get a sample of the new Dior foundation. We're, we're so excited super about that. Excited. We're gonna give our reviews later. <laughs> Lyra's got hers on her channel. I'll link it down below. <laughs> but anyways, we came here to see Jessie James Decker. Well, not really see her because we knew she was already gone. We came to see her little kittenish pop-up shop and get some stuff and to look at the stuff, you know. And they only had like four different things and like a couple scarves and hats. So the perfume wasn't even there, and the perfume wasn't there. So we were kind of sad about it, but. What do you do? We had a fun girls' day. It was anyways. good. We got to eat at the Cheesecake Factory <laughs> and we got to go to Big Sephora. So yes. we're good with it. All right. We're just sitting here eating some public swings. But I want to show my fully decorated living room. I don't think I showed all of it. Um, I don't think the mantle was lit. But here is my tree. Um, all the ornaments are from either Target or... Um, at home and everything stuck in it is from at home as well um, All the kind of like special ornaments are from at home. Um, my tree skirt is from home goods um, I got it last year or the year before I think this is my mantle It's all lit up um, I got that tree at Joann's and I got the stocking holders from Target and the little picture from Hobby Lobby. And then to finish it off, I have these cute little snowflake pillows on my couch. Super cute. Okay, so it is day three of Vlogmas. I'm gonna try to do like Vlogmas, like vlog something every day, but I do not have enough clips to make like a vlog a day. So anyways, we're just gonna go with, you know, maybe I'll film a couple days and then post and a couple days and post, but I'm gonna try to do at least um, a clip every single day because I've got a lot going on this month and I just think it'd be fun. Um, so I am going to wash my makeup brushes today and that's why I don't have any makeup on today. I'm just gonna wash my makeup brushes and I wanted to show you guys how I do that. Um, so I use this Morphe um, bristle shampoo. It's in the scent Honey Lavender. It smells so good. Um, it's so nice on your brushes and it gets them very clean. But I just got this little thing from TJ Maxx. It looks like a little cupcake. And it's uh, rubbery and it's got these little like different things on it. You can kind of see it's got different um, like shapes and patterns on it. So it can like really clean your brush. So instead of like, I normally put it in the soap, like get it wet, swirl it around in the soap and then just move it around on my hand. Well, that doesn't really like get them clean. So I'm gonna try this and see if it works and hopefully it does. Okay, so we see how dirty this brush is. So this is what I normally do. Put it in the water. And I just swirl it around in the soap. And I would normally just put it on my hand, but now I'm gonna use this 
to just swirl it around on huh. and do it in like all the different areas like this area, area with the circles, just swirl it all around. This is probably not the best brush to show because this is, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is my dirtiest brush. And normally, okay, normally this does not turn all the way white and this is completely white. Um, so this thing actually works. It normally, I'm going to show you a brush that, um, is just like this and do it on my hand and show you the difference. But this is completely white and completely clean. I don't even know if you can see that, but the bristles are completely white. I'm going to show you one done on my hand and show you how it does not get all the makeup out of it, but I'm going to keep doing this one. Okay, so here is a kabuki type brush. I don't even know if you can tell how dirty it is, but I use it every day for um, like a darker concealer on my face. Um, and I'm going to show you how I just normally would wash it like with my hand and how clean it gets. And then I'm going to take it to this and then show you how clean it gets. So here we go. So that's how I would have normally cleaned it. It looks pretty clean. So now I'm gonna take it to this and show you how much makeup is still in it. All right. So even though it doesn't look much cleaner, I know it is because I've ran it through this twice and it came out clean. Um, so what's already there is just stained. I don't even know if you can tell yet. Yeah, you can kind of see. But yeah, this works wonders. And you can like strap it on the back of your hand. So it works so good. I love it. Woohoo. Um, the brand on it is Lindo. I'll try to find one and like link it down below. So check it out. All right. So I am about to run into Dick's because I have to exchange something that I got for Sam for Christmas. Uh, I didn't get the right size. So I'm going to try to go in here and see if they have it and try to exchange it. All right, that was a successful trip. I exchanged what I needed to exchange. Got a different size. I don't want to say what it is because he really doesn't know. Um, and then I ran into a girl from high school. I want to say hey to Maggie. I know she watches my videos. Um, and then I went to Old Navy and I got two tops. So I'll show you guys when I get home. All right, so this is stuff I just got from Old Navy. Just some basics. Um, just this basic long sleeve top, kind of hard tries to look at. Um, and then this kind of like three quarter length. Um, it's not a sweater like, but it's kind of like a thicker material. Three quarter length, it's kind of like a turtleneck. Feels super soft and it has slits on the side. Um, I was thinking of wearing this with like my leather leggings. I thought that would be super cute. But a tip with a turtleneck, don't do your hair before you um, put it on. Because <laughs> I just tried it on and it like messed up my hair. So, Ooh. But I'm excited about these. Alright, so I have an easy meal I want to share with you guys. Um, it's got three ingredients. Um, that is just a package of kielbasa, some onion soup mix, and then that's like four potatoes cut up. Um, all you do is you put this in like a 9 by 13 like um, glass pan and mix all this up with like a half a cup of just vegetable oil and then put it in the oven for like an hour and it is perfect. So and it smells so good and the potatoes get so tender and it's so delicious. So I'm going to show you the finished product in like an hour. <laughs> Alright so this is what it all looks like when it's done looks so good and the potatoes are like so tender as you can see oh, and it smells delicious yeah it's just a quick easy meal all right i'm gonna end my vlog here uh, i'm just relaxing for the rest of the night but i hope you enjoyed this vlog uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos i'm gonna be doing the rest um of this month up until christmas maybe after um so check it out um but yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you guys are getting geared up for christmas and thanks for watching